today, we are going to delve into a realm that is known to be both fascinating and frequently misunderstood, the lives of Amish. It may seem like you understand it, but there are shocking realities they don't want you to know. The Amish manage a lifestyle that is rich in heritage but fraught with hidden problems. This lifestyle includes stringent social rules as well as traditional practices that are unique to them. We will delve into some topics that are guaranteed to captivate your attention. Number 15. No bras. Amish women typically do not wear bras as part of their traditional attire. This practice is deeply rooted in the cultural and religious beliefs of the Amish community, which emphasize modesty, simplicity, and adherence to traditional values. This practice comes from their religious and cultural views. The Ordnung, an unwritten set of rules that governs many parts of daily life, including what the Amish wear and how they look, guides their way of life. In Amish villages that are more traditional, women don't wear modern underwear like bras on purpose. Instead, they choose clothes that are sewn by hand and are made to be modest and provide enough covers. Most of the time, these clothes are made from simple natural fabrics like cotton or muslin. These fabrics keep people modest and also fit with the community's core values of being humble and staying away from outside influences. By choosing these traditional clothes, Amish women show that they are even more dedicated to a way of life that puts spirituality ahead of the latest fashion trends. Not wearing bras is not just a personal choice. It is part of the Amish community's character as a whole. Women know that what they wear shows what they believe and value, which makes them more likely to dress in ways that don't draw attention to themselves. This fits with the community's values of modesty and simplicity, where people value their inner traits over how they look on the outside. By following these rules about what to wear, Amish women also help their community feel like a single unit with a common identity. This helps to create a space where shared values are valued and where people's freedom of speech is often pushed aside for the sake of the group. Their lack of bras in their clothes shows that the Amish want to live a simple life, different from people in today's world. Along with following their culture's rules, Amish women show pride in their history through the clothes they wear. Before moving on, time for something interesting. There has been an image circulating online showing women in their undergarments while being restrained by their necks with chains. Is this a prison? Is this some kind of human trafficking ring? Nobody knows. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think. Number 14. No makeup. The Amish faith strongly disagrees with anything made by people. They think that things that naturally make people look better are just escapes from real life. Amish women are supposed to be plain and happy with how they look, so putting on makeup goes against what they believe. The Amish way of life is based on a close connection to nature. This means staying away from things and people from the outside world. On the street, some people think that changing how you look with makeup goes against the idea of being real. The Amish value inner beauty more than outward beauty, and they like people for who they are. Amish women don't wear makeup to show that they are even more committed to being simple and humble. They also show that they accept themselves just the way they are, which is in line with their faith. Amish women don't wear lipstick, lip gloss, or makeup because of this. They can use chapstick to keep their lips from drying out, but nothing that is meant to change or improve the way they look is allowed. It's not just a matter of personal choice to act this way. It's part of a cultural mindset that puts being modest and true to yourself above meeting social beauty standards. Since Amish women don't wear makeup, they can focus on their organization and values. This makes them feel like they have a common identity and are part of the same group. Many people today care too much about how they look. The Amish belief in natural beauty is a powerful lesson of how important it is to be yourself and how valuable you are as a person. They ditch makeup to enjoy themselves naturally, which is in line with their core beliefs. Number 13. Follow the courtship procedure. A young Amish woman has the freedom to marry the man she loves, as arranged marriages are not part of the Amish community. But in order for them to get married, her chosen partner has to be an Amish person, and they have to follow a certain set of rules while they're dating. 
In this relationship process, what does each person do? Usually, it starts with music events on Sunday nights. These are social events where young Amish people from different areas can meet and start dating. A young man showing his love for a young woman by offering to drive her home after the night's events is a big sign of interest. A thing that the couple does before the wedding is called bundling. In this unusual custom, they lie in bed together, fully dressed, but separated by a wooden wall. They talk until morning, but they don't touch each other. During courtship time, this practice puts more emphasis on emotional connection than physical closeness. There is no sexual behavior allowed between the two people, but they can go on dates and hang out together in public. It's important to note that either person in the relationship can end it at any time. This freedom is essential because it lets people make sure they are choosing the best thing for themselves and their lives. This way of doing things helps partners accept and understand each other, which strengthens the values of commitment and sincerity in their relationships. In Amish society, the dating process is meant to put emotional connection and compatibility ahead of physical attraction. It shows that the community values faith, modesty, and how important it is to have strong, long-lasting connections. Young Amish couples can build a strong future together based on shared views and mutual respect. Number 12. Non-Amish friends are only invited to the weeding party. As was already said, the way an Amish woman married is very different from how people marry today. People think of the wedding rite as holy, and this includes the list of guests. Girls and women who are getting married in the Amish community may have non-Amish friends who want to come, but these friends can only join the wedding party. The church service and the wedding ceremony are the two main parts of an Amish wedding. Non-Amish guests are welcome at the wedding but don't attend religious services. This difference exists because religious events like church services are only open to people who live in the Amish community. During the church service, the pair says their vows in a holy moment that is only for people of the faith. In Amish society, this part of the ceremony shows how important spiritual ties and community ties are. After the church service, the wedding procedure takes place, food is served, and the party goes on with traditional music, laughter, and people talking to each other. The Amish believe that there should be a clear separation between religious and non-religious life. At the church service, people are very religious, but at the wedding celebration, everyone is welcome. The community stays true to its values of religion and tradition while still welcoming relationships with people from outside the community by asking non-Amish friends to the second event, but not the first. Number 11. There is no honeymoon. A common dream for many girls is to escape to a beautiful place right after their wedding and spend their first night together away from everyone else. That being said, this idea almost doesn't apply to Amish women, and the word almost is used on purpose. No honeymoon for Amish women because their customs don't teach them this. Instead, after the wedding, an Amish woman and her husband stay with her father for the first night and the next few days until their new home, which was made by the community, is ready. Their daily routine doesn't change, but they do share intimate moments on their wedding night and afterward, without any limits on how often. As soon as it gets bright, they get up and go about their daily tasks as usual. Focusing on work and family duties shows how committed the Amish are to their community and traditions, while love escapes are less important. For them, marriage isn't just a personal union. It's also a way to keep up their roles in the family and the community. This method shows that the Amish believe in the value of society and making a difference in family life. They value simplicity and usefulness, and not having a honeymoon reminds them that their lives are connected to those of their families and the society as a whole. Amish women live by the values that guide their lives, by putting duty and responsibility ahead of their own romantic dreams. This builds a strong sense of family and community unity. This way, they don't start their marriages with a vacation, but with a promise to work together and share ideas that will guide their lives. Number 10. You can't divorce your husband. Marriage in the Amish society is seen as a promise to stay together for life, and both husbands and wives are expected to keep this promise. According to the Bible, anyone who gets a divorce, except in cases of sexual immorality, is guilty of adultery. This means that divorce is highly forbidden. The Bible does say that cheating can lead to divorce, but the Amish see this message differently and don't see this as an exception. 
For them, a woman can only get married again if her first husband has died. This tradition pushes couples to work out their differences, which makes their relationship stronger no matter what problems come up. Amish couples are urged to get help from church leaders or Christian marriage counselors if they are having problems that they think they can't solve. This shows how much the community values keeping family ties strong. But there are times when an Amish woman may feel forced to divorce her husband, even though the community doesn't allow it. In that case, she would be seen as disobeying, and she would face harsh punishments like being shunned and kicked out of the group. This affects both her and her ex-husband, who would not be able to marry someone else in society. The Amish believe that marriage is holy and that group unity is important, which is shown by their strict view on marriage. The Amish keep their families healthy and stay true to their traditional values by not encouraging divorce and instead focusing on resolution and reconciliation. Their faith has a big impact on how they treat each other and their children. And it has also created a culture of loyalty that has been passed down through generations. The Amish community puts a high value on family security because they see marriage as a holy vow that needs unwavering commitment and mutual respect. Number 9. You mustn't have a haircut. The Amish take very seriously the idea that a woman's hair is her beauty, which is written in the New Testament. The result is that women are not allowed to cut their hair in any way. This ban includes cutting their hair short, making big cuts, or even shaving their heads. The Amish believe that hair is a gift from God that should be treated with care. Because cutting hair is seen as going against God's will and disrespecting it, many people think that getting a haircut is wrong. A bun or a knot are common ways for Amish women to style their hair, which makes them look neat. As a custom, they cover their hair with a head covering when they go outside. This is usually a white cap or bonnet, they do this to show respect and devotion to their faith. Hair is important to the Amish society for more than just looks. It represents deeper values like humility and obedience. By following these rules, Amish women not only show their faith, but they also follow the traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation. In this way, hair is more than just a personal trait. It represents their spiritual commitment and sense of belonging to a group. This connection to custom makes them realize how modest and holy their bodies are. By following these rules, Amish women build a strong sense of identity and connection in their community. The way they wear their hair shows not only personal choices, but also a shared dedication to values that value simplicity, humility, and a close connection with God. In this way, the way Amish women take care of and style their hair shows a lot about their faith, society, and adherence to tradition. The Amish believe that personal identity and spiritual beliefs are closely connected. The importance of hair in their culture shows how they live their lives in a way that honors both God and the community. Number 8. Compulsory Childbirth and Child Rearing In the Amish faith, the family is essential because they see it as the foundation of group life. Larger families are thought to be better, and for Amish women, having children is seen as an important duty unless they can't get pregnant. A woman should have as many children as she and her husband want if she is healthy enough to do so. In the Amish society, children are seen as precious gifts from God, and there are no religious limits on how many children a family can have. Families often take in as many kids as Providence can handle, which means that the average family has seven kids. This shows how much the community values fertility and how firmly it sticks to traditional family ideals. This cultural norm shows how much the Amish value family-centered living, where help from family and friends is an important part of daily life. Amish parents teach their children values like faith, hard work, and community service that have kept their culture alive for generations. They also make sure that everyone in their big families feels responsible. Amish women are not allowed to use birth control because they want to have babies naturally, and they also yearn for a large family. The Amish society does well because they all believe that family is important and that children are a gift from God. Not only does this strongly held set of values affect individual lives, it also helps the community as a whole stay alive and strong. To answer your question about how Amish villages get so big, the answer lies in their strong devotion to family and the holy role of having children in their faith. Number 7. Social Interaction Guidelines Amish women are supposed to treat each other with a lot of respect and courtesy, no matter what age or gender they are. 
In the Amish community, where mutual respect is a key part of social contact, this expectation shows how important it is to keep relationships peaceful. By following this rule, Amish women show that they are humble and kind, which helps everyone in the community work together and support each other. They also show the kids around them how to behave properly in social situations and teach younger people how important it is to talk to others politely. Amish women's most important rule is not showing love for their husbands or potential partners in public. This rule makes it clear that people in this society value modesty and privacy. Intimate actions should only happen in private places. It doesn't matter how much an Amish woman loves her husband, she has to keep that love to herself. It is best for people to keep their love messages inside their homes. By following this rule, Amish women show that they value and respect their cultural norms and values. This helps them behave properly when they are with other people. In addition, Amish women help keep their relationships holy by not showing love in public. This creates a respect for closeness. This practice shows how important humility and privacy are to the Amish way of life. It also makes sure that love and partnerships are taken seriously, away from the eyes of the public. Number 6. No Selfies or Photographs It is against the rules for Amish people to take pictures or show themselves in any other way. Selfies? Certainly not. They think that taking a picture of yourself is like worshipping yourself. The Amish think that any picture, whether it's a photograph, drawing, or movie, encourages selfishness and individualism. They say that these kinds of portrayals go against the values of society and humility that guide their lives. They say this is not allowed because of how they understand the second commandment, which says not to make or worship graven idols. Visual images are seen as a way to show off and be proud, taking away from the unity and humility they try to keep in front of God. Taking a picture of yourself is seen as going against the spirit of the group in a society that values following group rules over personal expression. It is clearly against the rules for an Amish woman to have pictures of herself, let alone post them online or send them to other people. By not making visual representations, Amish people help protect the integrity of their community identity and support the values that have guided their lives for generations. This promise makes them even more committed to a way of life based on faith, community, and simplicity. It protects their values in a world that values independence and self-promotion so much. Number 5. Childbirth at Home An Amish woman thinks of giving birth as a deeply sacred event that needs to happen in a certain way and be handled with care. Hospitals are the rule in modern society. But Amish women are expected to give birth at home without any modern medical help like epidurals or painkillers unless they are really needed. A midwife is present during the process, and the pregnant woman is surrounded by people she knows who offer mental support and comfort at this important time. As part of their long history of giving birth, Amish women wear a special gown while they are laboring and giving birth. This type of dress usually has a long flowy dress with a belt and a cape or blanket that goes over the shoulders. The gown is made from natural materials like cotton or linen, and it is designed to be comfortable and useful. Movement during labor is also important, and it makes it easy. Most of the time, these gowns are made in light colors and have small embroidery along the collar or hem, which gives the outfit an artisanal look. In line with Amish practices, pregnant women don't use buttons on their gowns. Instead, they choose other fastenings that show their dedication to simplicity and modesty. In addition, they wear these gowns barefoot, which is a tradition that goes back a long way in their culture. Childbirth is more than just a physical event. It's a community event that shows how important family ties and shared values are. Being with known people makes for a supportive environment that recognizes how important it is to bring new life into the world. This sense of community strengthens the idea that giving birth is a shared experience that is deeply connected to their spiritual and cultural identity. Number 4. No Sex Talk Talking about sex is not allowed at all in Amish society. Only learn sexuality basics as an Amish woman before getting married. Teenagers are told not to ask questions or look for information about sex while they are going through the changes that come with puberty and the feelings that come with them. This lack of open communication makes it challenging to be interested in these kinds of things. To become an older Amish woman, you have the big duty of keeping your kids from having sex until they are old enough, which is usually when they are getting ready to get married. It's now your job to create an environment where talking about sex 
is still strange and frowned upon. This way of thinking comes from the idea that learning about the complicated side of human sexuality at a young age could lead to experimentation and moral problems. People in the Amish community are very sure that waiting to learn about sex until the right time keeps individuals moral and protects the purity of marriage. Amish parents want their children to have a deep respect for marriage and the closeness that comes with it by keeping the subject secret. The Amish place a lot of value on being humble and modest, and this careful handling of sexuality information supports those values. The community wants to protect the sacredness of relationships and the truth of their cultural beliefs by encouraging people to keep quiet about sexual issues. Number 3. Dress should be minimum elbow length. Many people know that Amish women dress very modestly, which shows how much they value traditional values. Because of the focus on humility, they have to avoid wearing clothes that are too revealing and follow a strict dress code that puts respect first. Their clothes are carefully picked out to cover up all of their bodies and hide any features that might be seen as inappropriate. So, arms must go at least to the elbows to protect against showing skin. The Amish women show that they respect their bodies and the community's beliefs by following this modest dress code. Even in casual clothes, the way they choose to dress shows how much they care about their faith. It's also important to note that their dresses don't go past the knees, which shows how much they care about being modest. By making these decisions, Amish women show that they believe in living a life that is in line with their religious beliefs and upholds the community's ideals of modesty and simplicity. The fact that they dress modestly is both a personal choice and a sign of their cultural identity in Amish society as a whole. In a world that values fashion as a way to show oneself, Amish women's dedication to modesty presents a different story that values community and faith over personal decoration. Not only do they care about how they look, but the clothes they wear also show how much they respect their history and the teachings of their faith. Amish women help keep alive their culture and the values that have guided their community for generations by upholding these customs. Number 2. No Buttons on Dresses the Amish society has very strict rules about how women should dress, and these rules cover everything. Dresses must not have buttons, which is a very important rule that is followed very carefully. Amish women don't put on buttons because they think they are just for looks and could be seen as flashy. The community stresses staying away from any jewelry or accessories that could make people feel proud, which are values that go against what they believe in. Amish women don't use buttons to close their clothes. Instead, they use hooks, snaps, or pins. People think these choices are more humble. The fastenings they choose show humility and help them in daily life. One interesting thing about this rule is that it says buttons could make taking off clothes easier, and not just for taking off your shoes at the end of the day. Pins, which are harder to take off, help the community's values of self-control and caution stick stronger. The focus on simple fastenings is also a reflection of a larger cultural philosophy that values being deliberate in all parts of life. By following these rules about what to wear, Amish women support a way of life that values spirituality and society over personal expression. What they wear isn't just a matter of personal style. It shows how much they care about their cultural and religious views. By making these decisions, they support the sense of community that has been a part of the Amish way of life for generations. This also ensures their appearance matches their faith. Number 1. No Personal Jewelry In order to stay true to their traditional values of simplicity, humility, and custom, Amish women choose not to wear personal jewelry like rings. People think of jewelry as a materialistic accessory that can take away from spiritual focus. By not wearing these decorative items, Amish women put more value on their inner traits than on how they look. This practice shows that the Amish believe in living a simple life, which is in line with their religious beliefs and cultural norms. Not wearing jewelry is not just a personal choice, it's a community rule that reinforces the ideals they all share. The Amish community thinks that by not wearing decorations, they improve their community's identity and spiritual purpose, which brings people together. An additional thing that the Amish do besides not wearing jewelry is use other ways to identify married people. For example, married women often wear certain types of clothes that show they are married. This way, people in the community can tell who is married. These actions make group unity and shared values even more important. 
making a space where collective identity is more important than individual expression. The focus on simplicity goes beyond clothing and into everyday life as well. Amish women actively add to a way of life that is based on spiritual depth and community harmony. By following these traditions, they help create an environment where faith, family, and friendship are more important than material things. This promise helps people in the community get to know each other better and lets them focus on what really matters, their relationships with God and with each other. It's eye-opening to see how different life can be and to appreciate the complexities of their traditions. Have any thoughts or questions about what we discussed? Drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join us for more intriguing explorations.